ideas for entertaining, home decor, recipes, and so much more. Today I'm sharing another room reveal with you. And I'm excited for this one because it is at the Lake Cottage and I just have a special place in my heart for that home. And it's so fun getting to play around with another decorating style. Lake Cottage guest bathroom also serves as the girls bathroom and while it really didn't need anything the more we started to update the rest of the home the more that this space started feeling out of place the plaid no longer correlated and it was feeling a bit dark and a little more dated than the other rooms so we decided to remove the wallpaper brighten it up add a pop of color and some nautical flair and there are so many ideas in this bathroom renovation that you can apply to your own builder's grade bath. In fact, that's exactly what this is. So we did everything from renewing the tile grout to painting the vanity, replacing hardware and light fixtures, making it feel larger, brighter, and of course, more modern. You can see that the original bathroom was plaid, it felt a little bit darker, the vanity was just fine but basic, and we had some basic standard builder's grade light fixtures and things like that. The first thing we did to update this bathroom was we stripped it of everything. We left the vanity and the bathtub and the shower fixtures and the toilet, but we all the basic necessities but we stripped the wallpaper and repaired the walls and painted them a bright white. And we stripped all the hardware, the light fixture, including the bathroom faucet. Those are all easy ways to update a builder's grade bath without a lot of money. And it's something that it's a kind of like a light remodel, a little refresh that you can do in a day or a weekend, which makes it so much more rewarding. Now to pack a lot of punch, we used a color for the vanity. And I know you don't see me using a lot of color other than my warm shades of cream, but it's really fun at the Lake Cottage to mix things up. And that's exactly what we did here. This color correlates with the nearby bedroom wallpaper because this is a Jack and Jill bath, as well as gives it that little Lake Cottage feel, but adding the hint of nautical blue. The blue vanity really makes a statement. It makes the entire bathroom pop, while the white background makes it feel calm, open, and much larger than it really is. It does a great job at reflecting light because it has a high LRV value. The blue, on the other hand, has a low LRV value, Painting the vanity blue makes a statement and creates a focal point in the space. It truly is where your eye is drawn the moment you walk in. It makes it almost like a piece of art. To make a statement in this blue bathroom, we used Evening Calm by Clark and Kensington. It's bright and light enough that it feels cheerful, yet when the sun goes down, it feels a little on the moody side. Either way, it has a nautical touch to it. And I drew on that for decorating the space. To accent the vanity, I included a round rattan mirror. And I love giving a little contrast. The blue vanity is a rectangular shape, so you complement it with a round shape and it automatically feels more interesting. Of course, the texture of the rattan also adds another layer and makes it feel a little warmer since we're working with really cool tones. I accented the blue vanity with a square one lever faucet in a warm gold. It feels really modern and fresh. Just above some nautical lights. This sconce is so inexpensive, you just won't believe it. I'll link to it below. I believe it was about $50 and it adds such a nice fun flair to this bathroom. And of course flowers, always flowers. Anytime we have guests, which this room doubles as the guest bathroom, I like to add fresh flowers. It automatically brings a room to life and makes it feel more special. And hydrangea do it every time and give again that hint of that East Coast nautical style that I love so much. 
Now, as you may recall, we ended up refreshing the grout in the bathroom by using one really inexpensive product. And it just took us about an hour to do the entire space and it looks so much brighter, cleaner, and more modern. So that was a quick fix to this builder's grade bathroom. You can incorporate some really fun nautical pieces that aren't intended for a bathroom, such as brass boat cleats. Brass boat cleats are just a fun way to create towel hooks. You could also incorporate something like a nautical rope for your toilet paper holder if you'd like, although I decided to stick with the warm gold tones. Another thing that we did in this lake bathroom, and my very, very, very favorite touch, is we had a bath mat made that says no diving. You know how you can customize any bath mat with monogram? Well, you can also take that monogram and make it something even more special. And this no diving bath mat does just that. It makes a statement piece and is the same color as the bath vanity and so incredibly fun. The girls absolutely loved it. I also love just little hints of detail, especially when I'm kind of sticking with a limited color palette. The shower curtain was just fun. It has beautiful tassels that are very delicate and fresh, feels modern, and makes the perfect accent for this lake bathroom. Finally, new knobs do a world of good and they're so inexpensive. So we went with a more modern style warm gold knob that feels fresh again and super cute and accents this builder's grade vanity and makes it feel much more up to date. So we took this 90s vanity and brought it up to 2019 for gosh, I mean, probably the cost of like $30. Sometimes it's the little things that make me the happiest and that's exactly how I feel about this curtain rod. Instead of having one of those expandable rods, this one feels much more custom because it was made to the exact length, which of course most of these lengths of a bathtub are very standard, but it fits perfectly. It is bright and shiny, again, feels fresh and modern, and one of the first things you see when you walk through the room, especially coming from the guest bedroom. So it's clean and neat, and it breaks up all that white that makes the space feel larger and makes it feel special in itself. You can find all the items in the description below. I hope you enjoyed our lake bathroom tour. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that little bell so that you never miss a post. I have so many fun and amazing projects to share with you. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon.